verse 5. Of the Ions, I provided testimony in all the division of the earth with long hair belonging to the tribes that worship Jehovah, that men of the Cosmon era might perceive that the land whence they sprang is not above the water. So Herod states that the tribes who let the hair grow long were the worshipers of Jehovah, the Creator. And this is where you see many pictures of the prophets or holy men, and most of them have long hair, where the locks or braids were just out. Verse 12, the tribes of Ham were previously ordained with characteristics to make them love to migrate westward, and the tribes of Japhet and Shem were with characteristics to make them love to stay within their own countries, and the tribes of Gautama with characteristics to make them love to go eastward. For I set a boundary to the tribes of Gautama that they should not reach the ocean on the east. So here Jehovah gives the nature of the people in these lands. The tribes of Ham were migratory people or travelers, while the Shemites and Japhethites stayed in their own lands and uh, multiplied. And the Gautamites migrated in the lands of Central, North, and South America. And verse 13 states, The Lord said, Having designed Ham for teaching the barbarian world of me and my dominion, I also prepared them that, through their seed, men and women should have hair neither straight nor short, but long and curled and red and white and brown, whereby be traced in after ages the genealogy of nations. So Harris states that those of the fleets of Ham had kinky hair and curled, unlike the tribes of Japhet or Gautama having straighter hair. Now, in the Lord's fifth book, chapter 5, verse 6, um, and 13 it states verse 6 those that came to Ham survived 21,000 years and then became extinct by amalgamation and even after this Jehovah preserved them in all the world as scattered people so now the fleets of Ham were 34 ships that landed off the coast of Africa and in the fleets of Ham there were 3,105 people in that fleet and they survived 21,000 years and became extinct by amalgamation. So 21,000 years is seven arc cycles of 3,000 years, which is from the 17th arc, the arc of Noah at the time of the flood, to the 24th arc, the arc of Bon, which was the time of Moses and the Exodus. And they became extinct as to the name of Ham as a whole. Now verse 13 states, Those of Ham attained to 1,000 200 large cities and 3,000 small cities being 4 million souls but being of mixed colors they had not become impotent but they broke the law of God more than all other faiths being of warm blood and they mixed greatly with the Ahuin and they had no kings nor queens serving the Lord only through the city's fathers and they retained the name Ham to the last when they ceased to exist as a separate people because of their amalgamation with the Ahuans. So here it states that the fleets of Ham had large cities and nations and people was of all shades of color. And they broke the law more than the other tribes because of being of warm blood. And the Ahuans, the, uh, the sacred little people mixed with the Ahuans, the copper color people, and ceased to exist as a separate people because of the amalgamation 21,000 years after the flood. Now we're going to move into the fleets or the sons of Guatama. Now in the Lord's first book, in mean chapter 1, verse 53 to 54 states, The fleet named Guatama was carried to the eastward, and the country hither it landed was also called Guatama. And the Lord said, From this place shall my chosen spread out north and south, but they shall not inhabit the lands to the east or west, as far as the sea, for they shall be testimony in time to come for this landing place from the continent of Pan. So the fleets of Gautama landed in what is today called America. Verse 54, God said, Suffer my people to bestow names to the places where I lead them. For these names 
shall show in the Cosmon era the work of my hand done in this day. So here it states, the fleet of Gautama which landed in America was testimony from the people that survived the flood or sinking of Pan. So there were people who inhabited these lands right after the flood. So the so-called Native Americans or Indians and other indigenous groups to the land had been in this country ever had been in this land ever since the flood or sinking of Pan 24,000 years ago. Now in the Lord's fifth book, chapter 5, verse 3, 7, and 8, it states, verse 3, those that came to Gautama, those that came to Gautama survived 21,000 years and then became extinct as the tribes. So this verse states that the fleets of Gautama that landed on the shores of America after the flood, and remember that one fleet represents 34 ships with one, I mean, with 3,105 people in that fleet of Gautama. And they survived 21,000 years, then became extinct as the tribes carrying that name, Gautama. And 21,000 years is seven arc cycles of 3,000 years, which is from the 17th arc, the arc of Noah, the time of the flood, to the 24th arc, the arc of Ban, which was the time of Moses and Exodus. Verse 7. Those of Guatama attained to 1,000 large cities and 3,000 small cities, being more than 4 million souls. And they never had any kings or queens or other rulers except the Lord, who ministered unto them through the city, re through the city fathers. And they retained their sacred name of Guatama to the last. But the Ahuans, the copper-colored people of Guatama, called the Ayans, Ochilopan, signifying people of another world or continent. And verse 8 states, And in course of time they became diminutive and desired not to marry. And there came great darkness on the earth with falling ashes and heat and fevers. And so the Lord took them up to heaven. So here in America you had cities and nations with millions of people <coughs> without kings or queens. And you had the Ayans, who were the sacred little people, and the Ahuans, the copper-colored people. And the Ahuans called the sacred little people Ochilopan, meaning people of another world, or Pan, or people of Pan. And the Ayans ascended 21,000 years after the flood, which would have been the time of Moses and Exodus. So these are the five sons of the Ark of Noah after the flood that was to start off anew on the earth. The fleets of Guatama, the Native Americas, there were 34 ships representing that fleet and 3,105 people that landed off the coast to start anew in Central, North, and South America. And out of these fleets of Guatama came the Mayans, the Aztecs, the Hopis, and the Native Americans. The fleets of Ham, the Africans, there were 34 ships and 3,105 people that landed off the coast to start anew in the land of Africa, or Ham. And out of the fleets of Ham came the Nile Valley Civilization and the Kushites and Kemetic Dynasties. And when the ships landed, it was off the coastline of that country. So this is where you get the Nile Valley Civilization starting in the Nile. <coughs> because from off the coastline, they migrated inland into Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania. And this is where you get the beginning of the Nile Valley people after the flood. So when people talk about the Nile Valley civilization being the place of origin, it is the origin for the fleets or people of Ham. That's it. This is where the Hamite civilization begins after the flood. So Nile Valley civilization is only referring to the Hamites. And you had the, Sh the Shemites the Japhethites and the Gautamites at the same time in their own designated country. Now, the fleet of Shem, the Indians, and Middle Easterners, so-called, there were 34 ships and 3,105 people that landed off the coast to start anew in the land of India and the so-called Middle East. 
and out of the fleets of Shem came the Zarathustrian, Hindu, Davidi, Sanskrit, the Sumerian.